This is the story of three best mates, Pat, Aldri and Nakis, and my son Isaac, who head to the Tankwa Karoo for a quick visit. For those that don't know, the Tankwa is only a few hours away from Cape Town. With the mercury hovering around the 40 degrees Celsius mark, our first stop is the quaint Tankwa Pat style. While Aldri and Nakis head for the bar, Pat and Isaac head so for the Isaac pool. Is. Isaac, what did you say? This is the life. Yeah. Why? Because you're in the middle of the desert, there's a mountain, and you're in a circle. It's just such a wonderful view. With the Land Rover, that's the main reason. Or maybe it was a treasure chest of cream soda he found at the bottom of this pool, which left his upper lip in a permanent state of green. The Tankwa Karoo is Nakis' go-to place for adventure and he knows his roads like the back of his hands. This video was not sped up for dramatic effect. The speed you see is the speed you're driving at. <laughs> so we're sitting on the back of the 130, we're heading up Hanukkah Pass in the Tankwa Karoo, which is absolutely back of the lovely sunset. My beautiful son Isaac is sitting next to me, we're on the back of the 130, and those are the as we make our way up the Hanukkah Pass, this is good buddy. Yep. What I love about the Tam Kwa Karoo is in the 48 hours that we spent here, we didn't see one other tourist. It was just us and these incredible landscapes. Our first night was spent at the Hanukkah Lodge, which is known for its local cuisine such as Sheep's Neck and very good hospitality which normally carries on into the small hours of the morning. We leave the lodge and head to a very, very special viewpoint, probably the best one in the whole of the Tonkakaru. Thanks Nakis for taking us there. The top highlight is stopping off at Wurfat, a new quaint and quirky restaurant in the town of Sutherland. Two series twos adorn the entrance of the place. We order a couple of pizzas here and wash them down with some fail honor, which is the premix of brandy and coke. Sutherland is not only known as the coldest town in South Africa, it's also renowned for stargazing, so people come from all around South Africa and the world to come and look at the stars in Sutherland. According to locals, the Land Rovers that we saw at the Burghat restaurant were recent, recently used in the shooting of a movie. As we head to our second stop, then I jump on the back of the 130. We see lots and lots of springbooks. I love the African wildlife. The final night of our short adventure is spent at the new lodge known as Rocha Kloof, where Nakis has to go and service some of the game view vehicles that they use on game drives for their clients. What a way to spend our final mm -hmm. evening on our little blitzkrieg of the Tampa career. The Tankwa Karoo is one of the lesser known gems of travel in South Africa and doing it with two of your best mates and your son in a Defender 130 was one of the best experiences of my life. I can't wait to go back there again. Only one thing to have for your last supper before flying back to the UK and that is a braai, also known as a barbecue, sausages, lamb chops, local Karoo lamb chops and some toasties. Thanks Aldri, Nakis and Isaac for an absolutely awesome and memorable road trip. 